Yay! Welcome back folks to more Let's Play the Bible Game, the Resurrection of the Bullshit Key. In the last episode, we gamed over. As you can see, I have three lives, so let's see if we can jump over here! Yay! That's one jump. Two jump. Three jump. Yay, made it. Ooh. What's happening here? Interesting, there is another random sort of royal bridge going over this <laughs> almost very small lake. Seriously, the lake looks about like what, seven feet wide. Like, can't can't you sort of like jump not not across it obviously, unless if you're an Olympic jumper. Actually no, it looks less than that. It looks about four in four four feet. You could jump four feet. I don't know what this game's on about. What the bloody hell is this game all about? I don't know what they're all about, you know. Right, that's obviously where we need to go. So before we can do that, we need to go and find the Deceiver, a.k.a. Yvetal. The Deceiver going, you don't want to buy Pokemon X, it's bloody terrible. They have, like, some sort of fairy, uh... Fairy deer thing. Like Bambi, only a fairy! At least Bambi wasn't a freaking fairy! Okay, read the Bible. Okay, who was the first king of Israel? Uh, was it Saul? It was Saul. Yay. Uh, what was the name that Nebuchadnezzar, that name, uh, given, uh, gave to Hanania? I don't bloody know, uh, Sadrach? Hey! Okay! Three more, come on! <clears throat> From the Servant of the Mount, what is the blessing for whose, which, hunger and thirst for righteousness? They shall be... They shall inherit the earth? No, they shall be filled. Well, good for them. Uh, for the wisdom of this world is something with God. I bet it's foolishness, isn't it? Of course it is. Like, oh yeah, well, God knows all, but you're not allowed to know because we're making you, making sure you don't know. How old was Moses when he died? I bet it's gonna be something stupid, so... 140? No, 120. That's still bloody old. And I don't even believe that Moses was the oldest person in the Bible. I think that Methuselah and um, Noah what older than he is, which is one of the reasons why I do not believe in Christianity. Why can't anyone nowadays live to that age? Yeah, you see people live to 100, maybe even 110, but they don't live to like 150, because I believe Noah was way over 150. I'm not sure though, I can't remember. To whom was Jesus speaking when he said, an evil and adulterous generation seeketh after a sign? Is it the Sadduces? No, it's the Parises. Whatever they are. Who wrote the Apostle to the Philippians? <sighs> was it Paul? It was Paul! Uh, what was the last word for the f- <sighs> Amen. Yay! Um, what was the name that given- What was the name that blah 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 given to Azariah? Well, it's not Sadrach, because we've already got that one. So let's go for- Abednego. Yay! We got six out of nine! We get one more pile of bullshit key, and we deter Yvetal. I believe we need to go... I think I'm actually right here. <clears throat> Just squeezing me a Coke bottle. Um, it's actually a Coke bottle with frozen water in it. Obviously my sort of drink of choice in this weather. Even though, actually, it was during the time in England where we had like three straight like three straight weeks of constant sunshine, you know, like sort of high 20s in, in Celsius and sunshine. Um, and yeah, it's now I've actually just heard, heard some thunder, so I believe we're actually gonna get a bit of rain. Yes, anyway, yeah, but I've actually got it in a Coke ball which has my name on it, you know, one of those sort of share a coke with this person and I was me and my sister was just rooting, rooting around the rooting around the um whoa ow that wasn't very nice 
Yeah, but anyway, me and my sister were just rooting around at our local Tesco's um, to try and find Cokes with our names on it. We found them because we both got quite, um, actually very, we got very common names. Uh, hers is Samantha, mine is Chris, so we got some very, uh, we got some very well-known names. Anyway, uh, what name did Prince give to Marshall? Is it Meshack? Whoa, okay, that was a complete guess. In what direction was the Garden of Eden planted? I want to say east again, because, well, they seem to have an obsession with east. Oh, God. Why is there obsession with east? What about the poor west? I live in the southwest of England. What about the poor west? You buggers. Uh, what city did Jesus attend a wedding? I don't think it's got anything to do with beer, so it's not beer, Sheba. I'm going to say Jerusalem. No, nope, Canna. Ah, well... Who carried the ten tribes of Israel away in captivity? Was it the... I don't know. That, those things? Nope, it was the king of Assyria. Great for him. Well done, you git. Jesus said he did not come to destroy the law or the prophets, but to do what? Fulfill them, I bet you. Yeah. Ugh. It always has to be like the sort of the lamest answer. It really does. From the Sermon on the Mount. What is the blessing for the meek? The meek shall obtain the meek. The meek shall and a hair of the earth. I don't know. Yay! I believe that's all I need, actually. Yes, I beat the deceiver and get one more part of the vaulted key. Just two to go. Ooh, and new area. Seriously, this game is worse than Winnie the Pooh's Rumbly Tumbly Adventure. And actually, I've got to admit, I quite enjoyed playing that game. <laughs> <laughs> it's very, um, it's, oh, it's like, oh, you shouldn't like that game. You're a man of 21, you should hate that game. But do you know what? One, it's Winnie the Pooh, and I adore Winnie the Pooh, did when I was a child, still do. Uh, don't like the new CGI crap they've done with him. Um, but yeah, it, it was, it was a game, yeah, it was like sort of childish, right? but it is for children, you've got to understand that. So, yeah, I enjoyed the hell out of it. This game, on the other hand, I mean, okay, I'm not ripping my hair out, of it, out about it. I mean, yeah, that, that's true, I'm not. Ooh, what's that? A church. Ooh. Is he possibly over here? No, there's a spider thing, which looks like he's pooping out part of his back. I don't like my back, I think I'm just going to crap it out a little. Hello. God's sake. Okay. Oh, was that going that way or something? Well, let's go this way first. See what we find. We find a dead end. Well, uh, great. That's just great. Thank you. The music is going slow for some reason. I think even lag hates this game. That said, I'm, I wouldn't say I'm enjoying myself, but I'm at least not sort of ripping my hair out about the game. So I'm going to give you credit here, the Bible game. You're at least slightly entertaining me. You saw Keepy's that way, did you? Well, I think I'll believe you, my friend. But if you are wrong, I will stab you in the face. Okay, okay, why is it with... I can't go that way, you idiots. See, I, I can't go that way. I bet you it's in, like, one of these obscure areas, isn't it? There are spiders everywhere. I hate spiders. <laughs> nah, I'm right with spiders. Just spiders don't like me very much. Good God, how difficult... That's not it. How difficult is it to find a key piece? Oh, is that it? That's not key piece. Oh well. I can move this way though, so maybe... Oh, wait a minute. Hey, you Vatel, where are you? Hello. Oh, damn it. Go on, get him. Read him the Bible and then he shall be cured. Blah, blah, blah. Who said one Lord, one faith, one baptism? It wasn't Peter, was it? It was Paul. It wasn't Peter. Again, Peter doing bugger all here. 
Uh, which of the Gospels tell us to visit of the shepherds to the baby Jesus? Was it Mark? That no, was Luke. Well, P. All I can say is, well, P. Okay. Who said, for there is one God and one meditator between God and men? Was it Paul? Okay, Paul seems to know a lot about God then. Fair play him. Uh, we already know this. We already know the question. It's 40. We already know the answer as well. Whom did Ruth say, whither thou goeth, I will go. And where thou lodgest, I will lodge. Thy people shall be my people, and thy God my God. Was it father, mother-in-law, or sister? Was it father? That was mother-in-law. What's about women talk? I don't know. Anyway. What apostle did Je told Jesus, Lord, wash not my feet only, but also my hands and my head? Was it Judas? That was Peter. Peter did something! Oh my god, Peter actually did something. And I'm vastly running out of questions here. Jesus said that it would be safer for a camel to go through the eye of a needle. Also, they had needles in those days. Of course. Than for whom to enter into the kingdom of God. Was it the prices? It was a rich man. So rich men aren't allowed in heaven. You've got to be broke and living in a cardboard box to get into heaven. Nice one. Okay, with what did wo did the woman wash Jesus' feet before rubbing anointing him with ointment? Was it her tears? Oh my god, really? Come on. Wow, alright. A loss of her, where did Jesus go? Uh, let's say we prayed on the Mountain of Olives. Ah, you didn't pray, that's why you died. Ah, well, it doesn't matter if I got that one right or not. I still would not have her. Uh... Ah, there he is. Hey, Vatel. Come back here. There you go. Four out of seven. So, just as bad. Judge not lest ye be judged. That's what I know. Uh, into how many parts did the soldiers divide Jesus' garments? Was it seven? Oh, God, it was four. Okay. Quartered, possibly. I don't know. What's the last word? Is it, is it, is it amen? <laughs> Tis amen. What disease did God cause to come upon Moses as the sign of a burning bush? Is it leprosy, possibly, or is it typhus? It's leprosy. Okay. Who did Jesus heal at the pool of Bithia? Was it the, light, the blind man, the leper, or the impotent man? I believe it was the blind man. No, it was the impotent man. Apparently, impotent men, they just need to walk into a pool, and they're not impotent anymore. Okay. In what city were believers in Christ first called Christians? Damascus? No, Antioch. Whatever that is. Uh, will we fair weather tomorrow? Blue. Red. Red, 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 red sky means a bloody lot. Damn it. Ah. I dodged your final shot, Leo Vatel. Hello. Whoa. Oh, no, that was a cheap shot, you Vatel. You know that was a cheap shot. Let's try one more time here. Uh, what time of day did the Lord appear to Saul as he travelled to Damascus? I better be something like dusk. No, it's about about noon. So obviously God was hung over that day. Anyway, to whom did Jesus give the parable of the Good Samaritan? I don't know. Who was it? A, a Roman soldier? No, it was a lawyer. Why do lawyers need to know about Good Samaritans? What was the devil's first temptation to Jesus in the wilderness? Uh, was it turn stones into bread? It was, because it was the whole fasting thing. In what book is the blah, blah, blah dream written? Is it Daniel? It is Daniel. What was the last word? It's our man. Yes. Uh, how many years did Jacob agree to serve uh, Laban in order to marry Rachel? Was it seven? Was seven? I believe I've got all of them. How many days after the other apostles did Thomas see the resurrected Jesus? Was it two? It was eight. There you go. We beat the deceiver and get one part of the bullshit key. We need one more. One more piece. And I'm running out. I'm actually running out of life here. As you can see, my life is very low. Let's carry on. Ooh, cross piece. Ooh, whatever that is. 
There's a spider. Don't keep away from spiders. Have a cross piece. I may need to go back and see my good friends who keep just saying, Over there! It's over there! Etc. I may need to go and see my it's over there people. Well, let's go. For some reason, I don't know why I just can't bloody walk over there. And I have to sort of like, okay, I've got to take a certain route, you know. Because, uh, well, that's the case. That's not going to work, is it? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Let's go back to my homies on the street. Hey, homies. Homies on the street. Oh, God, no, I don't need the homies on the street. I just need to beat your fatal. Read the Bible. Okay, fire at nine here. This will be the final thing, if I can get it right, hopefully. Uh, from the Sermon on the Mount, what is the blessing for the merciful? Uh, they shall obtain mercy? Okay, that seems like a bloody easy one. What was the name of the second book of Moses? Genesis the first. I believe Exodus is the second? Yes. Uh, which of the following were high priests who threatened Peter and John after they healed the lame man? I believe it could be both. Yep, they both did it. What mean buggers? What was the last word of this? Is it our man? It is. Who is Joseph's mother? Rachel? Yes. Wow, okay. Who is the mother of dinner? Is it Rachel? No, it's Leah. Uh, who's the author of Lamentations? Is it Ezekiel? Is it the book of Ezekiel? No, it's Jeremiah. Well, I don't care. I, I got... I got five out of five. I beat the deceiver and got one more part of the bullshit key. Give me another bloody key. Yay. And I... Has, has that restored my health? It ha... Well, it sort of has. Yay. We completed it with a score of... Whoa. 297. Um... Yes, we get the breastplate of righteousness. So now we have a belt, some boots, and something to go over our chest. We are ready for a night on the town. Anyway, guys, I'm going to go for a break here in the next episode of Let's Play the Bible Game. We go to level four of six. We're over halfway through the game, but the game is getting tougher. Oh, God. Anyway, I'll see you then.